Hello, I'm Kashyap Lavip and my group partner is Istiag Mahbub and our topic is a smart and cost effective home automation system using IoT. So here is the outline. We have discussed the background, motivation and objectives, the problem statement, proposed system, flowchart, simulation and hardware prototype, result and analysis, addressing engineering activities and its conclusion. So background and motivation. Here we developed and designed a system which will control electrical appliances by smartphone and Android app. Components we have used is Node MCU, which, uh, which can be used by Android application. Wi-Fi connection is given to the Node MCU and, and our smart home automation is cheap and wi less wiring. This device can be worked from a long distance. So here is the existing systems and related works design of a home automation system using Arduino. It employs an embedded micro web server in Arduino Mega 2560 microcontroller with an IP connectivity for accessing and controlling devices and appliances remote. This device can be controlled through a web application or via Bluetooth Android based smartphone app using Blink software. And another project is Bluetooth based home automation using cell phone. This, this paper described about home automation system, which would use to enable home lighting, garage door, motor, water pumping, motor and smoke detection using a smart home application, smartphone application with Bluetooth wireless technology and Arduino. Bluetooth communication technology and control system is that the operating range is low. So we have done a survey on efficient of IoT based smartphone system and we have found uh, several advantages and disadvantages. So I'm going to talk about it. So user interface is smartphone mode of transmission uh, Transmission is Wi-Fi and central controller is Arduino Mega. So here are the disadvantages. As we know in Arduino Mega, we cannot do multitasking, it's not supported. Maximum distance is supported by Wi-Fi is 100 meter and it is not a user friendly interface and cannot be used by old or disabled users. So another uh, survey on Internet of Things based home automation system. So in another project, user interface was GUI, mode of transmission was Bluetooth, central controller here, similarly Arduino Mega. So this advantage is similar to the above project as their multitasking is not supported, maximum distance by Bluetooth is 10 meter, not user friendly for all types of users. So background and motivation here is the literature review. We have focused on the base main three papers that are that are found in IEEE website. So in all of three papers, there was problem in Bluetooth and short distance and expensive. And most in most of the project, there was higher complexity in higher and more wiring used. So in in the in the most important three papers we have found that in all the project Bluetooth based home automation has been applied and connected to the Arduino board. So due to Bluetooth, uh, it has short distance and, and the possible solution was it can be used for long, uh, longer distance using node MCU microcontroller. In another paper, it was expensive and our, uh, our system is cost effective. So we have done this literature review. The problems we have found in the existing system is Arduino is used where multitasking not possible, too much wiring software, Blink was used, complex. It was complex programming, Bluetooth module also used for short known distance. It was cost, slightly higher cost, price of Arduino. And it is not a user-friendly interface or system. The system crashes due to any damage in the interconnection. That means any if any there is a damage in the connection, that's what the entire system crashes, not a single device. Uh, equipment and installation cost is higher and it is less reliable. So here is the objective and the proposed solution for our smart home automation using IoT. And in our system, simple installation, the proposed system is simple and easy to install and we avoided bulk wiring. User friendly and our project is user friendly and can be used by any users. We have used Node MCU microcontroller, which is fast and multitasking is possible, and it is cheaper than Arduino Uno. And Wi Fi and GSM, the proposed system can be controlled and accessed from anywhere. And our, as, a, as said earlier, our system is cheaper than any, any other system. So I'm going to pass it to my partner, Istiak Dian, to continue the rest of it. So 
Now I will talk about the research methodology. So in this project, we have made the literature review. We have made our circuit, proposed system circuit using Proteus that we have designed. Then we have made the microcontroller programming. Then we have developing the applications and then we construct the prototype. And finally, we, we, we will test the prototype. We have tested the prototype. So in proposed system, here you will see that the load is connected with the node MCU via relay, via relay, and gas sensor is connected to node MCU. So how it works? So first, if we give any command to the node MCU, node MCU will give command to the relay, and relay will give command to the load. So E here at the at the at the back of the at the bottom of the node MCU here you will see the sensors. Uh, if sensor detects anything, it will send signal to the node MCU microcontroller, and node MCU microcontroller will send signal to the buzzer as well as display. And it will send a message to our mobile phone via GSM module. And DC power supply is given to the node MCU for the node MCU to turn on. And AC supply is given to the load as usual for the load to give power supply to the load. So now I'll talk about the addressing complex engineering problems. So WP1, depth of knowledge required, which is WK3, WK5, and WK8. So addressing the complex engineering problems in this project regarding WP1 is the project because the knowledge of design of IoT systems, which is K3, K4, K5, embedded systems with sensors K4, K5, K6, and wireless communications K4, integration of subsystems, which is K8, and physical implementations. In WP2, the range of complete requirements, there is nothing. There is nothing. And in WP3, the depth of analysis required is the no way to design depth of analysis needed to select a specific solutions from many alternatives. And there is no family, family, familiarity, familiarity issues in, in WP4. In WP5, the extent of expendable applicable cores. Here, the selects and op, op, optimal Arduino ID code or methodology with proper justifications in WP6, which is the extent of stakeholder involvement. So there is no extent of stakeholder involvement. In WP7, the interdependence. The project involves a number of interdependent subsystems components such as IoT system, sensor system, wireless communication system, and user app. So now I'll talk about the addressing complex engineering activities. So in EA1, the range of resources, it is necessary to mobilize and engage money, people, equipment, and information to implement the project. In EA2, there is no level of interactions. And in EA3 and EA4, the addressing to the complex engineering activities is same. So in EA3, there is innovations and EA4, there are the consequences to society. So both, both have the same addressing the complex engineering activities in the project, which is the project involves innovative use of engineering in the area with high social impact. And in E5, there is no familiarity. So change the slide, please. So these are the flowchart that we have made for our projects. So at start, we should connect our module to the Wi-Fi network. And after that, we should connect our mo module with the MIT app. Then with the MIT app, we will give command to our module and the module will give command to the re relay switch and the relay switch will give command that whether our load will turn on or off and then the finally everything will stop. So here we use the C++ programming and the designs that we have made for our proposed system circuit in Proteus. And we, we have made our uh, programming in Arduino ID software for the Node MCU. So these are the simulation circuit that we have done in Proteus. So here you will see that the Node MCU is connected to each of the load via relay switch. So according to giving conditions, relay switch will turn on or off for the specific devices. And node MCU is connected to the display as well. So it will show which device is on and which device is off. Not only that, the sensor is also connected to the node MCU. Change the side. So these are the hardware prototype that we have made. We have shown the display, GSM model, node MCU, buzzer, transformer, relay. So at the left, you will see 
when two light is on, how our projects look like when two light is on. I mean, two load is long. So at the bottom, you will see when all loads are active. This, so these are the hardware video. And at the left and at the right, you will see at the, at the, at, at the left, you will see the programming that we have done in Arduino ID, ID software. And at the bottom here, you will see the app that we have developed for our projects. So these are the hardware video at the, at the left. So now I will talk about the cost comparisons of, a, of the projects. So in automation, if average in average home automation, the cost range is $767. So in BDD, if you convert in BDD, the price will be $64,904.85 BDD. So in luxury, fully connected homes, the $10,000 is used, which is nothing but the 8,50,000. And in our cost effective home automations, the cost range in dollar is 111.42, which is 9,450. So now I would like to call Kashyap Labib to explain the remaining part of the projects. Thank you, Steve Mahu. I'm going to tell about the in impact of project on environment and its, and its sustainability environment. It has impact of the carbon, foot, carbon footprint, which is the amount of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere. It is eco-friendly and there is a reduction in electricity wastage as it can be controlled from a long distance. Now I'm going to talk about its sustainability. It is reliable. It has an eco-friendly model for sustainability at smart home. And our device is low power consumption and it is cheap and it, and it can be used as cheap and wisely used as users of electricity. So conclusion, so a smart and cost-effective home automation using IoT Internet of Things has been developed, which has the following features. Distant control of appliances, it is cheap, secure, and secure home through automated load control, saves time, and it is cheaper and user-friendly, which can be used by any type of people. So here is this uh, future scope, more appliances with a powerful relay module can be used, garage automated door system for more security. And we can use solar power system, which is cheap and durable. We can connect the device to a solar energy, which, uh, which is a renewable source of energy. So thank you. So... <clears throat>